Ray in Space by John Salona. Exterior, ocean beach, morning. Action opens on a glorious sky, the blue ocean, the beach, then the appearance of the head of the fully suited diver. Ray, a good looking 20 something male, emerges from the shoreline ocean breakers. He stands and walks forward. Ray comes ahead, then closer yet, and finally, extremely close. Ray's face fills the picture. Scene one, exterior pool one, late afternoon. Ray looks down into the water. He clears the respirator mouthpiece and jumps in. Exterior pool one underwater, late afternoon. Ray's face through the mask, blank stare. Ray is slowly treading water. He's not sure what he sees. The submerged shape of a female moves up into frame towards Ray. No diving gear or breathing apparatus, just mini goggles on Vicky, also 20-something, and a beauty. But she's dressed in slightly peculiar attire, like a transparent spacesuit as a second layer over her bare figure. The female swimmer's movements are graceful as she effortlessly propels herself around the pool towards Ray. Ray looks at Vicky, who is striking, yet appears to be in a trance state and staring right through him. Ray's face shows feelings of affection, but there's uncertainty. Vicky comes closer. She moves in and looks about to confront Ray when she pauses, seemingly frozen in suspension. Then, abruptly, she pushes Ray. He's startled as she turns and swims away from him. She moves to the opposite end of the pool while Ray tries to locate her. Ray swims around the bottom of the pool floor. He's lost without her. Aerial view. Ray is at one end of the pool. Vicky's nowhere in sight. The pool is transformed. The water is dark, like black ink. There is serious wave action over the top of the pool. Overhead, it sounds like a couple helicopters sweeping the area. Scene two. Exterior, pool two, day. Ray shows up in masks, snorkel, and fins. His body is fitted with a transparent spacesuit similar to Vicky's. He dives in. Exterior, pool two, underwater, day. Like an apparition, Vicky appears directly in front of Ray. They communicate telepathically. Vicky, Vicky. We live for the eternal, and time bends, and I spin. I am in their eternity. I know. Moving, renewal, the whole package. We're from another planet, right? Traveling across the stars, we shift realities and come in. Ray, what are you doing here? Lazo sent me to get you back. Can't live in that other dimension. Adjusting to this world, I'm better off. Really, don't say a word to anyone. Come on, what are you doing? Living in people's pools? You left for this? Much better now. Things weren't clicking. Gravity's pulling, plunging, plodding. It's taking forever finding me. Happier now. I am complete in this journey. It's circularity, and I'm fulfilled. Different. How do I look? Come back. Come back happy. We can make it. What's separating us? Your gear? Experiencing decomposing. What's the secret? Don't pass out. Secrets. Change. Changes. Our future opens the past. Breakthrough. It was easy. Tell Lazos I'm fine. Maybe I want the same thing. The same? Maybe it's you. Don't make it up, Ray. You knew I had to do something. You knew I had to leave. Imagine feeling different, lots different. Hold on. Your transmission was garbled. It was windy. Windy? Yes. Windy when we attempted coordinates. The course was way off and danger was imminent. A very bizarre event was happening to that craft. We basically just held on during a wild descent. You missed by a mile. Malfunction? You blew the landing. I was terrified. Where's the shuttle? Scene 3. Exterior, pool 3. Evening. Skimming the top of the pool water, reflecting the night sky. Exterior, pool 3. Underwater. Evening. Vicky and Ray are below at a corner of the pool. Ray is wearing swimming goggles and the transparent spacesuit. Telepathy. You are mystifying. You say things I don't know how to respond. So, feeling different haunts me. Here I am. We're here for me. Remember, it's my turn, my time. Suddenly, Ray grabs the sides of his head. He's in pain. Oh, damn headaches. Man, those images. What was... You okay? My brain's cooked. Who else are you in contact with? I have to check on a few things. Be back with more details. How we can rejoin the ship is priority one. Hope you make it all better, but I told you I don't want to leave. Did anyone see you? Find out if we've been spotted. I came in cloaked. They scrambled my energy particles and transmitted me. I felt lost in a dream. No sense of time until I materialized. Experimental and it worked. No complaints. Hey, 
I'm in one piece and everything's in the right place. I appeared not far from your intended entry point, like out in the ocean away from shore, not in the middle of the financial district in broad daylight. Navigation, Vicky. Really, the mothership awaits. Is it parked nearby? Last I knew it was hiding behind Saturn. Ray, we disintegrated the shuttle. Oh great, I'm not feeling that well. And I don't know the whereabouts of the others. There are two extraterrestrial humanoids running around the city. Fun? You can't stay. The others too. You will change in a matter of days. Your skin, body, everything. No return. The memory. We all will. I'm already changing and I like what I see. My face has changed. You've always been so unrealistic, living in your head, not fit for the mission, they said. Listen, I've got to figure out how to open a channel to the ship. I'll return soon. Next pool, I guess. Well, bring me a big sandwich with lots of salami, lettuce, and mustard. Sourdough. You eat that? I'm so worried for you, Vicky. No need to worry. Just keep moving. I'm hungry. Vicky watches Ray hop out of the pool and leave. She leans back and closes her eyes, smiling. From outside the pool area and moving towards it, a man with a flashlight is, is combing the vicinity. It's Crosby, 40-something, CIA special agent. Scene 4, exterior, pool 4, afternoon. Vicky looks up and sees Ray in the transparent spacesuit and now mini goggles like Vicky's. He comes forward and jumps into the pool. Exterior, pool 4, underwater, afternoon. Vicky and Ray are at the bottom of the pool, telepathy. You look strange, like on something influencing you probably don't see. I do. That's what I say. You're changing too, just like me. I told you so. I told you so, Ray. My metabolism is changing. I can't handle the atmosphere like that. A few breaths. I'm tired, worn out. Loss of energy. Could be a virus. You look better. I'm getting used to things. It happens when you overstay, but I'll be on top soon. What did you find out? Interference. No reception. System crash or something. Some kind of blackout. Couldn't reach the ship. Or you mean they didn't want you to? It's out. They're not going to leave without us. Not until work is done and we return to the zone of habitable planets in the star cluster we call home. You, maybe. What blackouts? From what I can tell, the entire power grid is down. Frozen. Must be your companions to blame. So much for low impact. Shouldn't be a surprise they would be trying to connect with the ship. Yeah, by blowing up circuits. Oh well. Another day at the beach. You've got some serious thinking to do, Vicky. This cannot go on. You will change, and not for the better. They can still abandon us, which is what I want. Stay with me. Are you... Ray, I'm talking about us. Yes. I'm so in the heavens over you. When you enlisted, I was really concerned, concerned I would never see you again. I loved you from the start, and now you believe you can merge and fold into this world? That's a retro move, Vicky. Remember, we are at least a millennium ahead here. The people primitive. We're advanced. Enter the space, see technology, direct them into new time, direct them into new timelines and their future. The book, it's all in our interests. And abduct them too. Blood work type O. Switch one of us for one of them. A perfect equation. So I'm switching. Just find someone worthy and zoom them back. A successful mission accomplished, and I win. You're sounding more and more off and out of it. Something peculiar is happening once again. Where's the essence? Let me float. Come back another day. Scene 5, interior CIA office, day. Crosby's talking on the speakerphone with his commander. Yes, uh, Colonel, the footage is from the pool security cam. Uh, the owners have fully cooperated. Fact is, uh, they are scared, but uh, space intruders underwater in a swimming pool? If there's anything that far-fetched, uh, I know we haven't told them a thing, just that there's an ongoing investigation into recent break-ins around the neighborhood. But only of their pools, nothing more. Zippered, sir. Sure, uh, fine. What do the strobing in the video? Those are the suspects. For some reason, camera's not picking up much. It's strobing, glowing orbs, underwater figures. And the outage up and down the coast? Is this related? Cyber Command is considering it an attack. China, Russia. <laughs> it seems a bizarre coincidence. Indeed. Our Acebo registered a large current drop at the same time of the alleged cyber event, and now we have some exotic footage from the space station. Stay on this, Crosby. Find out what the hell is going on in those pools. Ada.